All right, bro. We got to talk, bro. We got to talk. You know, we got a lot to talk about. Talk hey, to Roy, hey, Roy, were Talk you surprised that he came in three pounds over, uh, overweight, man? No, I was not surprised that he came in three pounds overweight. Why? Because he's been doing a lot of different things to try to make this fight different and make people become excited about it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So for him, he's not the champion right now. He's coming off of a loss to Tank. He got to try to do something to keep people excited. So by coming in and doing everything against the grain, gives him a better chance because he feels like he's a rebel. And that's what he wants to be. He feels like he, he's the... He wants to be the bad guy and let him be the good guy. And by doing things like this, it further exaggerates him being the bad guy. Do you think he also uses it as, as an advantage? I mean, he like purposely say, okay, I'm gonna have this advantage. He's gonna try to have an advantage, but, but make no mistake about it. Handy ain't small as you think Handy is. Were you surprised he came and drank the beer on his skin? No, I'm not surprised. I mean, look what he's been doing lately. I would you be surprised? I would, nothing he does surprise me. So as a, but as a coach and as a trainer, at what point do you pull your fighter to the side and say, hey man, what's going on? Talk to well, him. <laughs> well, as a coach, as a trainer, my fighter, if he did that, I would leave the stage. But everybody ain't me. <laughs> but I boxed. I understood. I represented the fans. You understand know I me? Mean? And my kids, I don't want my kids looking up to that. So when I was a boxer, I respected myself enough to do things that your kids could look up to me and say, I want to be like him one day. And you not be ashamed of it. That kind of stuff is not what you really want in boxing. That kind of stuff is what hurts the sport. And I feel bad that he's going through so much mentally that he's doing things like that, but that's not good to me. Should so you he think that this Saturday, Roy? What? Should he be fighting in this fight Saturday, Roy? I mean, he already signed up for it now. People are people spent their money to see it, so yeah, he got to fight now. Mm -hmm. But after this, he should really be evaluated. How do you think that is? Huh? Does he got a left hook, he got a chance, because he got a hell of a left hook. So he always got a chance, but his mind, you just got to wonder where his mind is. But how do you land that left hook against I the guy say so all that. I say, He just asked if he have a chance. I ain't say he's going to land it. I say he has a chance. I don't say, <laughs> I say he has a chance. Do what do you think? How do you think? Devin, does Devin stop Ryan? I think so. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.